Good morning, uh, welcome to my channel plant uh, reviews. So they, uh, this will be a channel uh, obviously mainly focused on uh, gardening uh, and also cultivation of house plant. Um, I decided to start uh, the first video of my channel with this uh, beautiful plant, it's called uh, Melianthus uh, Meyer or uh, common name uh, giant honey flower or uh, in Afrikaans uh, where uh, these, uh, this, uh, yeah, from South Africa where this plant comes from Kujeroer Mini or Herb Touch Me Not, sorry for my Afrikaans pronunciation as I am Italian as well, but even uh, <laughs> English. But uh, yes, it's uh, the um, herb touch me not is basically uh, so called because of the uh, smell of the leaves if you basically touch them and uh, uh, they smell like kind of uh, roasted uh, uh, peanuts, uh, they are quite uh, um, yeah, kind of fragrant but uh, uh, really uh, not uh, that um, they don't have such a very nice fragrance anyway. However, regardless, the fragrance of the plant is really a beautiful uh, plant. The, as I said, this comes from uh, South Africa, uh, one of the richest uh, countries in uh, uh, plant species. Uh, however, this is naturalized also in other countries such as India, Australia and uh, New Zealand. As you can see, is uh, the size of the plant is about 2-3 uh, uh, meters in width and can reach uh, uh, 3 meters uh, in uh, uh, or eight as well. Uh, also, these uh, plants spreads around quite easily uh, through uh, suckers. Uh, you can see a small sucker uh, there. Yeah, they are the narcissus just coming up, and. Uh, this plant is used mainly as a focus plant, as a focal plant in a garden because of uh, the very uh, nice uh, shape of the leaves. Uh, these are bluish uh, greens and you can see they are uh, so like, uh, they're so like margins, uh, are very peculiar and typical of this species, therefore is used uh, uh, as a great architectural plant in the gardens. The, um, the flowers uh, are pretty small, they are bunched in an inflorescence about uh, 30 to 50 centimeters uh, long and uh, the spikes of this plant usually are uh, red uh, brown red. However, my plant uh, uh, has a very little red, uh, is mostly green. In the wild, uh, uh, these uh, flowers are pollinated by sunbirds. Uh, these are birds, very colorful, very beautiful, especially the males, uh, uh, kind of similar uh, to hummingbirds in colors and uh, behavior, even if uh, they are uh, very distantly related uh, to each other. Some birds actually are a kind of, uh, uh, are more related to sparrows than hummingbirds. However, the habits and the colors are very similar to hummingbirds. And as hummingbirds, uh, they pollinate uh, uh, the flowers in a very similar fashion, except that uh, some birds uh, don't uh, hover around the flowers uh, like hummingbirds do. The flower, this plant also is uh, peculiar in the blooming time. Uh, today is the 1st of March, UK, so early spring, well, late winter really, rather early spring, but uh, uh, this plant started uh, actually blooming already in January. So I would definitely say it's a winter uh, blooming plant, uh, um, maximum early spring. As you can see, the spikes are already in full flower. Uh, while uh, uh, one of the spikes actually is already fading. The, um, one other characteristic of this plant is that usually the old leaves dry up and uh, die down. As you can see here, they uh, 
at some point will fall and leave bare stems. So what uh, mini gardeners do is actually cut them every year or every two years uh, uh, just uh, to guarantee a very nice uh, bushy appearance rather than uh, having a quite leggy plant. Uh, my plant is uh, still young, it's just about uh, two years uh, old uh, and uh, it's very important uh, if you want uh, to observe the blooming and the flowers to keep uh, the plant uh, um, as it is, uh, avoiding to cut it down uh, because the inflorescence is uh, uh, produced on uh, the uh, on the branches uh, of the previous uh, year. Uh, this uh, uh, plant uh, is uh, also um, is, uh, won the Royal Horticultural Society Award of Garden Merit in 1993. Uh, because uh, it's a very resistant plant, as I said, very architectural, very picturesque. And uh, uh, about the inflorescence again, uh, these are uh, tall, as you can see, uh, terminal, uh, narrow, and uh, they are, yeah, all the flowers are uh, bunched in spikes. Uh, they're very lightly scented and uh, uh, they are held, as you can see, uh, very um, well above the foliage. The flowers are pretty small, actually I have one here, as you can see, uh, one second I'll try to focus on it, yeah. The flowers are pretty small and are actually very complex you can see the pollen and uh, Melianthus and this family is actually um, peculiar in the fact that produces uh, one second yeah black nectar uh, I'm not too sure if you actually can see yeah do you see Sorry for the quality, it's my first video, but yeah, you can see the black nectar, the black nectar at the uh, base of the flower. So as I said, the honey bush is uh, uh, the honey bush is uh, uh, used as focal point or a specimen plant, and the, that's uh, how I have it in uh, the garden. It's a very nice contrast with the jasmine with the narrow leaf. The jasmines I have some uh, roses uh, and uh, some other climbers nearby, and a very nice uh, uh, pineapple brush behind the honey bush uh, it's uh, now it's this winter has been a bit uh, windy so some of the top branches are broken i need to cut them down however in summer it's a very nice uh, uh, combination because uh, the blue green leaves of uh, the um, uh, honey bush uh, kind of uh, match the gray green leaves of the pineapple brush and the shape is also very different. So they, at the same time, match and contrast. And I think is a great combination uh, in the garden. About the hardiness of this plant, is, uh, it is sometimes uh, uh, used as an uh, annual plant in very cold climates. Uh, however, uh, this is uh, hardy to... Um, uh, um, yeah, this is hardly about to zone eight, even if actually some of uh, the cultivars available, uh, the one especially called Antonus Blue, is actually hardy up to zone 10 in the USDA zones. Uh, there's also, well, the um, Antonos blue is very famous to be even um, more blue in the color of the foliage. But however, there's also another very nice variety, the purple haze, uh, whose uh, foliage is finer and uh, is a more spreading form and there's a purple uh, 
uh, color in the stems and uh, leaves. About uh, this uh, plant, uh, I have kept it, as I said, for about uh, two years, two years and a half actually, and it actually resisted uh, in temperatures of uh, uh, minus uh, eight when uh, in the UK we had uh, the so called beast from the east, it was a snowstorm in uh, yeah actually in early march yeah two years ago and uh, sometimes these plants are damaged by frost but they shoot uh, from the base uh, you need just to cut uh, the top however the snow and the minus eight degrees uh, for uh, five six days didn't do any damage at all to my plant and it just uh, kept growing and indeed uh, flowered the winter after the snow so I would uh, definitely recommend uh, this species in um, even in uh, uh, Central Europe or Northern Europe unless you are you have a very very cold uh, uh, winters with uh, prolonged uh, snow cover however if uh, the snow is just occasional uh, it uh, I'm I found this plant very resistant and uh, perfectly fine outdoors. Um, another uh, uh, cultivation tip is that, uh, as you can see, I have uh, uh, this plant uh, in the sunniest position I can get and uh, the, it receives a full sun pretty much uh, the whole day. Uh, the, um, the soil I would recommend is uh, um, actually a, my garden is clay soil, but I planted the plant in a very big um, uh, hole filled of uh, uh, very well draining uh, soil uh, for the roots because this plant uh, doesn't uh, like to get uh, waterlogged. However, uh, from another point of view, the fact that there's, there is a clay soil nearby uh, is also uh, good for the plant because uh, especially in um, summer in dry spells uh, this plant uh, likes to have some moisture on the uh, that uh, can uh, reach the roots uh, as long obviously uh, the whole uh, uh, radical uh, apparatus of the plant uh, gets uh, waterlogged so well i hope uh, that you enjoyed the description of the plant and i well <laughs> i'm sorry for the quality of the video is the first uh, video i have uh, done today however yes i hope uh, for sure that you can enjoy this beautiful plant uh, in your garden. Thank you very much.